Donna, I was so looking forward to this conversation because it is so rare to have one, uh, a breakthrough artist in the field of technology uh, who has your particular background and who has decided to also become engaged philanthropically. What motivated you to bring these two aspects of your life together? Well, I think it comes upon you gradually. I uh, was not born into a wealthy family. I mean, a solid middle-class environment, to be sure, but not great wealth. Um, but my parents were always very um, generous and giving of their time and, and their money. And so I was, I was raised in an environment where it was important to give back. But you don't, I don't think you really understand the implications of, of having great wealth until you, know, you get kind of close to that point yourself. And uh, as I did start to get into that position myself over the years, it became clear, more clear to me that I had to start thinking about what the implications were of that. And I think the number one implication for me was, as I thought about it, that I had been able to take advantage of so many things that society had provided for me, whether my public school growing up or my parents paying for my college or Yale and all of it had to offer, and that it was really my responsibility now to do that for the next generation. And, and I had to start to kind of think about that and think about how to go about that, which is it's not an easy thing to think about. And, uh, how you do that thoughtfully and responsibly and, and with the most amount of impact. And I think I got, I got kind of turned off of the idea of inherited wealth. Um, I think both from a perspective of society as well as from the perspective of, of an individual. Um, from a society perspective, it just seems to me it doesn't generate as much uh, creativity and innovation. And from an individual perspective, I, I think it's almost demotivational. Somebody doesn't really have to work hard for, for what they're getting. So, you know, I, I, for ourselves, in my family, my husband and I, we've sort of said, okay, we're going to take care of our family. We're going to make sure nobody's out in the cold or struggling or they're safe. They're safe. Uh, but after that, I think uh, the rest of, of what we've been able to uh, earn based on the privileges we've had in our society, uh, we think we should be giving back.